is Vinyl Mean to Me? Well, basically it's the encapsulation of all those years I've been growing up listening to music. Basically the only things we had when we were kids were, were records, and then cassettes came along, CDs came along, and back to records again. My name is Andrew DeLang. I've been involved in music since the early 1980s. Been working at 78 Records since 1986. Yeah, I've had a uh, long, strange and exciting trip in the music industry. 78 Records started in 1971, originally, formed by a group of Perth guys who were into loads of music. Couldn't find that music in Perth, and that's where it basically started from. Guys who couldn't find records in this town decided to start their own record shop. So it happened in 1971. That was uh, probably a, a groundbreaking adventure for a, a group of guys in Perth. This was breaking new territory having a standalone record store. I've uh, been in the record industry owning a store for 15 years, but uh, I've been involved in music for probably 30 something years. I own about probably 2,000, which is a fairly large collection. I just like the feel that you get in a foot by foot square. I just like it that you can get up and have to flip it over and a few pops and cracks, you know. And the store's been going for four years. Um, I quit the music retail side of it for a little while and just started selling online, but I uh, had the opportunity to come back and do this again. So, yeah, the store's only four years old, but it's all part of the William Street and the MRA redevelopment of Perth. My name is Jade. I've been working in this store for the past month, because that's how long we've been open. Just my nana has always collected records and it's just been something I've liked. We sell collectibles, CDs, gizmo. Um, we have a few other record stores that have done quite well in the past so I think it's just good to be here and the customers love it, you know. I think there should be definitely a lot more record stores open, you know. It's like bringing back a piece of history. I think it would be good. Vinyl needs to stick around. I mean we've seen such a growth area in records within the last three or four years. I can't see any reason why it will stop. Yeah, to pick one record impossible yeah because there's so much great music out there